are going on an adventure. Stargazing. That's what we're doing. So, I don't know if you heard, but the Northern Lights were happening recently, and that's kind of my intentions, to see some colorful sky, but maybe some shooting stars, meteors too. And then also, I'm just going out for the vibes. I just met with my friend, so now we're gonna go make tacos in the wilderness. I found the skeleton. There's an animal. I'm not gonna murder you like these other people do, okay? I'm gonna let you live your life. Woke up to it sprinkling a little bit. I'm not sure if it's actually gonna rain. I kinda want it to. Please rain. Just woke up in the woods, making coffee, puffy face. Dogs tied up being crazy. Friends just left at 4.30 in the morning. I don't think they were able to sleep very well. <laughs> But they were also doing like mushrooms. We've already seen a deer, and that's why my dogs are kind of going crazy right now. The temperature right now is freaking perfect. I'm so happy that I'm outside right now instead of waking up at my house. It's so worth it. We went to bed at like midnight, 12:30, before 1 a.m. for sure. Once they left at 4.30, I kind of was laying there with my eyes closed. The sun was coming up, so it was getting brighter. So I couldn't really sleep. So I just laid in the tent, and now this is what we're doing. I kind of want to make breakfast later. Last night, I made my friend's tacos with sweet potatoes, beyond steak, vegan chili with like mixed greens, spicy sauce, and shredded cheese. Last night, sleeping, it was so freaking quiet. Like, the most peaceful thing ever. There wasn't a single sound. There wasn't a cricket. There wasn't a sound. It was so quiet. Oh my gosh. Lights are making twinklies. Um, epic. Hello. We just came from those mountains and look at these cute desert mountains that we're driving through to get back to Vegas. You like it? Is it cool? We are on a new adventure. We're out here getting our wildflower fix. Finally, I've wanted this for like, um, ever since the blooming started. We're gonna hike up into there.
cause from a fire or is it like uh is it like something cool what is this it's giving melted glass but what if it's something cool am i supposed to keep this but then again it kind of looks like a rock I was literally just standing here thinking like, the water is so powerful, how it just like carries these logs and like trees and boulders down the whole mountain, right? And then I looked down and I saw this. That was literally luckiest fuck if it was something. But clearly, if it's part of something else like that, there's more, right? But I'm not a miner. I don't know how to do this. Show me how to find stuff. My mom found a piece of, my mom found a, piece, a huge piece of garnet, which is my birthstone. But she found it on the Great Divide. Pretty cool stuff when you're out in the wilderness and you find something amazing like that. Like good energy, blah blah blah. You gotta come up here. Can I have some space? of the contrast with these orange flowers and the cactuses and the desert and holy cow it was the most beautiful thing ever i was gonna sit at home today before work but i was like why would i do that when i have hours before work and this is just sitting here this is sitting here while i'm sitting at home and I think we should just come together, you know, so we met. Now we're best friends. Nature's my girl. Cerberus is such a good little pusher. Okay, what I mean by pusher is like, you know, at the end, you just gotta push to get to the end. So he kept stopping and like every piece of shade, he would like stop. The last stop where we could see the car, he like got up from sitting for a couple of seconds and then he starts running and he's like on the leash attached to me, right? He starts pulling me running to the car. And like, this is what he wanted. He was like, I'm done. <laughs> and he knew the car was here and he pushed to the end. Like he ran instead of like walking, being tired, like keep stopping every two seconds. He saw the car and he like pushed it. Cerberus is sitting here inspiring me and motivating me to never give up, okay? <laughs> so just keep pushing always. Thank you, Cerberus. My dogs are kind of hot. I want to stop on the side of the road and then walk to this spot where the flowers are really fire. But I don't want to deal with my dogs right now. I have to work in a few hours. I'm like, okay, I guess that will be the end of today's adventure. We'll have to wait till next week when we have more free time. And we'll see some flowers and shit. So see you next week.